Hello everyone, welcome to Patshala. Now in this video, we will see how to build a stock price prediction model with the help of long short term memory, that is LSTM in short. Stock price is an example of time series. Let's see what is meant by time series and what are the characteristics of time series. Time series is the sequence of data points and uh, these data points are generally arranged with increasing time. So this time series is the help of four properties. First is trend. So it indicates whether prices are increasing or decreasing. Seasonability indicates the pattern which repeats after specific time. Cycle movement indicates less frequent patterns observed in the time series data and uh, last one is unexpected variations which are actually not expected in uh, the time series data but these are occurring which makes predictions difficult so these are the four characteristics with which time series is analyzed so since we have taken the example of stock price we need to have and where we will have the stock prices so we have created a sample stock price with the help of stock values first value is 10 second value is 12 third value is 14 likewise at the last we have stock price as 25 so these value corresponds to the each day now till now we have learned that there will be a separate training data set where we have the training examples and the actual output now here in this case the training examples and actual output we have to form from the price of data points itself okay so since we have considered steps is equal to true we need to have training examples in the bunch of two like 10 12 12 14 14 15 15 17 likewise last we have 21 23 so we have created a training examples like this now what is the actual value actual value is the next value in that sequence after two values so for first sequence 10 and 12 we have next value as 14 so first sequence is 10 and 12 and we have next value is 14 now that 14 is treated as a actual value now next will be 12 and 14 and uh, the actual value associated with this example will be 15 so in order to have this particular uh, training examples and uh, actual output with us we have created a sequence underscore splitter function so in splitter function we are passing stock price and uh, the number of steps we want to consider now uh, in sequence splitter we we have defined two m x and y okay x is uh, the training example and y is the actual value associated with it now we have created a for loop with a counter variable and we are checking whether its value is in the range of length of sequence now uh, counter plus step if it is greater than length of the sequence then we have to come out of this loop we are going to break this loop okay so how to get sample from this sequence we have to check we have to start from the counter and we have to end at counter plus step that will be the sample x the actual y value will be counter plus step and finally we are attaching the sample x and sample y to the x and y we are returning those numpy arrays to the place where we have called that particular function x and y capital so for i in the range of length of x we are printing and we are getting the values like this as per our expectation so total number of samples are 8 and uh, timestamps are 2 means we are considering 2 timestamp values over there 
number of features is equal to 1 only one value we are considering for predicting the stock that is the past value we are not going to consider any other feature over there okay now it's time to define our model we are going to create a sequential model over here uh, lstm layer is created and that layer includes 50 different units with activation function as relu input shape to this is steps comma number of features so steps are two number of features are one okay we have used return sequence is equal to true means at each timestamp whatever the intermediate output we are generating that is passed to the next lstm layer in next lstm layer we have taken 25 lstm units along with the activation function as relu and at the last we have added the dense layer with one neuron all these three layers we have added in the model with the help of model.add after that we have printed the model summary okay so we have defined our model now it's time to specify how model will be trained so we are saying that our model is going to use adam optimizer with loss is equal to mean squared error the summary is provided in the tabular format like this layer name is lstm lstm1 and dense and 18,026 parameters will be trained. All these parameters are trainable. Now we have to reshape the actual input. We know that LSTM model works with three dimensional data. So we have to convert that in three dimensional. So input need to be converted with first dimension as uh, number of samples we have eight samples number of timestamps we are considering two timestamp and only one feature we are using okay so this is actually the three dimensional data so number of features is equal to one so that's why it is not making any huge changes in the database it is just adding extra dimension okay and at the last we want to train our model so for that we have used model dot fit capital X capital Y epochs is equal to 500 we can observe that in the first epoch we have loss as 383.43 and after 500 epoch we are getting loss as 0.28 so it is drastically reduced from larger value to smaller at the 500 epoch now our model is trained we want to predict what will be the next value so we have created a numpy array with values 23 and 25 we have reshaped that to three dimensional data and now we want to predict what will be the future value with past value as 23 and 25 so we have used model dot predict new sample new samples values are 23 comma 25 we have we have printed the prediction and we are getting value as 25.99 means 26 so if we observe the values or data points these are in the increasing order okay so the output should be greater than 25 means we are catching the trend available inside the time series data so here also that is happening the value is greater than 25 close to 26 okay so we have captured that trend so this is all about stock price prediction system with the help of lstm thank you for watching the video